United Textile Workers Union, UNITE, held its elective congress in Maseru, Lesotho between the 2nd and 3rd of August 2024. It was a successful gathering that brought together 52 delegates from all its regions to participate in this important process. We spoke to the General Secretary of UNITE to find out how important this Congress is for the Union and what it seeks to achieve. Thank you very much for, for you to, to be in this special Congress for us because the Congress is very special. It is special because after every three years, we go for the election that will elect the national office bearers of our organization, which will in the next three years uh, be vested with the power to implement the policies and the constitutional uh, whatever that needs to be implemented by the, 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 the organization. So this is the committee that is going to be elected, which is responsible for that. The six people, men or women, whoever come out of this uh, uh, election elected, uh, is expected to make sure that the next uh, uh, three years, the policies of the company, the, the organization are well implemented. I, I, I think, comrades, the Congress, what, what we need to achieve, not only me, the organization need to have leaders that can help it unite the workers in the country, unite the working class across, across the world, and make sure that they understand the agenda of socialism because uh, as, a, as a class, we all know that we are pushing for a, a socialist world. The promised land, according to the, the socialist agenda, that the promised land is not in heaven. It is the world we are living in. So these are the people that are being exploited. They need to be free from the chains of capital. So to do that, they need to have a proactive leadership. I know that it is not that easy, unfortunately, because you know that the system uh, itself, uh, to, to, to destroy the system that, that is exploiting us, we need finances and so far, so forth. But as at last, we, are, we don't have such a thing as money. The Congress was attended by organizations such as the National Union of Metal Workers of South Africa, the Lesotho Federation of Trade Unions, Lesotho Association of Teachers, Lesotho Workers Association, and Pan-Africanism Today. Organizations gave messages of solidarity and some reflections building up to this Congress. UNITE emphasized the principle of internationalism, as having played a critical role in the development of the organization in terms of union-to-union -union solidarity and exchanges, political education, and media exposure. We spoke to one of the shop stewards as to the meaning of this Congress and if the youth in the organization were talking about socialism. It is a huge moment because we've just chosen two committees the women's side and the youth side. So every committee has got one representative on the National Executive Congress and also on the CEC. So it's going to shape the new UNITE, first as the old UNITE that we were having, which didn't have a lot of youth, a lot of women. So for us and for me as a, as a youth in this, we want it to represent us and we also represent the women's side of of UNITE and also represent some of what UNITE actually is because UNITE has got about three categories of people. The first category is people who are intellectual and also people who are experienced who have been in the textile industries for 20 years, but most of them are not learned. 
So we need to incorporate that knowledge and experience with the youth side of what we unite want it to be in the next coming years because the kind of challenges we're facing need to incorporate both. So it will be an interesting thing what happens after this. The youth in United are talking a lot about socialism because most of them have learned it, a thing or two from Nkrumah and also from PED and also from Mabatlali and they've had interactions with Palestine. Uh, so they're teaching a lot about socialism in the sense that when it comes to the working class in the textile industry, without socialism, there's no way forward. They literally see no way forward because the current regime and also the textile industry uh, are intertwined. So we can't win against them without going via socialism. It was clear from the onset that the union had interpreted this political moment as a continuation and intensification of the struggles of workers in Lesotho. Since its last elective Congress in 2021, the union had managed to secure a number of victories, including the establishment of the women and youth structures, and further achieving the victory of a Labour Act of Lesotho 2024 that can be built upon to protect the rights of workers. We had a conversation with NUMSA's second deputy president, trying to get a sense of why it was important for NUMSA to be a part of this Congress. It is very important for internationalism in respect that as we work with other unions, as we work with other unions across the, the, the board, that we are always supporting each other and making sure that, more especially today we are in Lesotho, and we all know that some of the companies, they would be in South Africa. As they see it, they would come to Lesotho and make sure that they exploit workers. So for us to be working with them is to make sure that we, assess, we support them in whatever they are doing. We support them during their negotiations so that they also learn from us the good strategies that we are using when we negotiate to make sure that most of the companies in Lesotho, they hire women, which are very vulnerable when it comes to getting equal pay for equal job, which is always a challenge for them. Whatever they are getting, at times they would just take. But working with us as Mumsa, it makes it very vital to say, this is the wage that in South Africa, this is the minimum wage. This is what the companies are supposed to. And also conditions of service. Remember, some of the women, they would work overnight and it's very dangerous for them. So we always, as we work with them, as we do training, it's not only working with them by coming to Lesotho. It's also as Numsa, more especially the region that is twinned from the Numsa region's Northern Cape is working with Lesotho. So these are the unions that we work with, Unite specifically that we work with when we do have trainings, when we have safety trainings. We are very mindful the conditions in Lesotho. It's not the same as the conditions in South Africa. So as we work towards bettering their lives conditions, as unions are known for conditions of service, making sure that workers are getting what is expected of them. And the other thing, as you all know, that we negotiate, we have members in engineering. Some of those members also in the mining sectors, some of those workers are from Lesotho. So as soon as they have retired and gone, then it says they are better part it's not, they will never go back and get what is expected of them. But as we work with them and we do have trustees in those sectors that when the Jews are there, the claimed, unclaimed benefits or unclaimed monies that is actually expected to be theirs. Some, they do go and die without getting those. So NUMSA is very it's very crucial to this relationship. It's very vital to both of us and making sure that the risk 
of letting those companies come this side. It's minimized so that those companies, they do stay in South Africa and give what is due to workers. The Congress was clear that it needed to elect leaders who are going to grow the organization and understand what is needed to achieve this. The principle of unity stood front and center as more than ever before, there is no time or space for fragmentation. The union must not only tackle the economic terrain of struggle, but must fuse this with social struggles, such as the fight against human trafficking, police brutality, illegal mining and poverty, these critical issues that find expression in working class communities. <laughs>